Gage Bronies, this is a bird back with you again. Welcome here to some TCG content. I know it's been a minute since I've done the TCG shenanigans, but we are back here with a pretty cool deck profile. This is a uh, Malamar list that myself and Jordan Palmer have been working on that I want to test on the channel. It was most recently featured in uh, the Sableye's Best of Seven series against Cilia's Network, so I would recommend you going over and checking out how the deck did. Um, but yeah, we're going to use it today. Honestly, I really like how the list has come about, and I'm really excited to honestly use it. So if you guys are keen to, you know, do all that good stuff, you know, like this video, subscribe, all that. But we're going to break down uh, what makes this deck so good, and why, honestly, this is probably my favorite deck to be running in this current format. Unfortunately, there's no events to go to, but I think if I was going to go to events in the current climate, this is the deck that I would choose. 100%. So the deck revolves primarily around Malamar and the Psychic Recharge ability. So I think I've covered Malamar on my channel before, but it has been a while. So I'm just going to do a quick refresher on a lot of these cards. So Malamar, uh, each of them once per turn can take a Psychic Energy from the discard to one of your benched Pokemon. Um, so really, really solid powers up a lot of very strong attackers. Uh, one of which, the most constant attacker that we have is Giratina. Uh, so Giratina's Distortion Door allows it to be brought back from the discard pile to the bench, and then you can put one damage counter on two of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Shadow Impact, 130 damage, four damage counters, probably going to be put on the Giratina in uh, most matchups. Um, so the kind of loop that you can get is having Malamars on the bench, using Giratina, and then every time Giratina gets knocked out, you promote something with an Escape Board. Uh, normally that will be the Jirachi with the Stellar Wish. Um, so that you can just keep on bringing up Jirachi and then you can recharge back up to Tina and then just keep spamming with Tina. And against those big tag team decks, you can just win that way, which is really, really strong. But we do have some other really cute little tech attackers for certain matchups. A really important one that we have is the Latios GX. Latios is incredibly crucial for us to be able to win the uh, ADP Zacian matchup. Uh, being able to go for clear vision is immensely strong. This is also an incredibly strong card against Ultimate Mewtwo, which is gaining a lot of popularity. Uh, the whole premise of our deck is to try and pump out this turn one clear vision if we can, um, and just try and shut our opponent down from there. So really, really important card, uh, the Latios. We also have a Bench Barrier Mew. This is mainly for Picarom and things like Cremorant to prevent any kind of bench sniping done to our Pokemon. Psypower is also just a really nice card. Uh, so a really nice attack to be throwing around. We have two of the Copycat Mimikyu in this list. Uh, Copycat allows us to effectively uh, win the Zacian ADP matchup with absolute ease, uh, being able to just copy Brave Blade for some very easy knockouts. Um, another good tech attacker in here is the Blacephalon with the Fireworks Bomb if your opponent... So it does four damage counters on its own, similar to Mew, Psypower, just one stronger. But then if your opponent has exactly three prizes remaining, it does 12, so you can skew the prize trade really nicely. We also have an Esper in here for the Eokinesis, uh, doing 20 damage to one of your opponent's bench for each damage counter on that Pokemon, so uh, there's some really good math that you could work out to get some really easy knockouts with this Esper for sure. Um, and then we also have a Dedene. Now, Dedene is an interesting one, right? So, um, I was initially skeptical on the Dedene in this list, but if you remember, like, if you think about it in the way that the reason Dedene is in this list is for the matchups where we want to be going for the clear vision. And we want as many ways as possible to be able to get to that clear vision. So with the Research and the Cynthia plus the Dedene, we should be able to dig enough to get everything we need to get Latios in the active and to be able to declare clear vision. And even if we have Dedene and Latios on board, which is effectively four prizes for our opponents, let me break down how the prize trade would work in that matchup. So realistically, what would happen is that we would clear vision and then they would Brave Blade and knock out our Latios. <laughs> To which we reply by bringing up one of our Mimikyu's and copycatting Brave Blade for the knockout. Um, once that's done, we're two, uh, we're down, we've got four prizes each. So the opponent then promotes another Zacian, and maybe they go for a Great Catcher and bring up our Dedene. Knock that out, so they're down to two prizes left. It goes back to us. If they choose to Great Catcher after Dedene instead of attacking our Mimikyu, our Mimikyu can just go with a copycat again and get an easy knockout. So if they choose the Mimikyu and go down to what would be three prizes, Mimikyu gets knocked out, we have a second Mimikyu that can come up and knock out their Zacian. So then they may go up with the ADP, knowing that if another Zacian goes up and we have a Rod, we just get an easy knockout. But then, what we do is we put 
uh, spell tag for damage counters onto that ADP. So then we can use Giratina and Garchomp GX. So this is a really important card. I think this is a very good addition in the current meta. A lot of people just aren't running Malolana or anticipating this card to come back, and I think it is just really, really strong in the metagame. So Linear Attack doing 40 damage to one of your opponent's uh, Pokemon can be nice sometimes, but the main attack we want to throw out here is the Calamitous Slash. Uh, Calamitous Slash, um, if your opponent has any damage on it already, it does 80 more damage, which means it does 240. So with one spell tag doing 40 damage, you can put that onto an ADP, and immediately Calamitous Slash will one-shot. Uh, GG End is also a really good GX attack to have as a backup. If we don't need to use Clear Vision, in a certain game, then GGN can be incredibly strong for us to get rid of a huge threat. So I like that a lot. Um, in terms of search, we've got four treasure and uh, four quick ball, very straightforward. Four switch, because we want to try and maximize getting Gladius into the active. Couple of Viridians to get through our energy. As I said, the four synth and the four research to just breeze through things. Uh, two escape boards for the Jirachi and maybe for, you know, for Inkays and stuff. Uh, four spell tags, just a busted card. When a psychic Pokemon attached with this gets knocked out. Four damage counters, super good. And then two fighting, obviously for the Giratina Garchomp, and then the seven psychic. So yeah, this is a list. I honestly feel really, really happy with how this list has turned out. I am expecting, well, I'm hoping that it is going to do some awesome things today. We'll try and get through maybe three games with the list. I've uh, got a lot of cool decks to show off, but we are going to keep on trying to climb the uh, ranked, well, there's not really a ranked ladder, but climb up everything else. So we have a matchup here. We see Fairy and we see Dark. So I am, and we see Fighting and Lightning. So I am going to assume this is Ultimate Mewtwo, which is a pretty favorable matchup for us. We are going first. So the question is, would I like them to Soul Burst GX in this matchup? But do you have Giratina and Garchomp? I think I'm going to choose no. I think I want my opponent to go first and I want to get the clear vision off. So we actually open really strong here. Well, I lie. We don't open strong at all. This is pretty horrendous for us. We are going to put the Latios in the active, though, and just see what our opponent can do. Um, this is a pretty rough hand. We do see a Reshizard opening. So I am thinking this is the ultimate Mewtwo, but if they're opening Reshizard, that is good for us. Um, they do just pass with a Reshizard. So we do have an opportunity here. We're going to have to, yeah, we're going to have to bench the Mimikyu for sure. Quick ball away in energy, and we are going to have to grab that to Dene. Uh, we're going to need a Dene change here for sure. This hand is absolutely dead. We are going to attach an energy here, and then we are going to throw off that Dead A change and uh, just try and find the things that we need. And I think we got most of the things we need in this situation. So we have a spell tag. We can Mysterious Treasure away a switch. Not ideal to do so, but right now it is ideal. Put down this in case. We need one more Pokemon. We can guarantee get that with another Mysterious Treasure, but I am afraid of getting rid of this... Uh, energy, so I think I'm going to play it safe in Cynthia, because I feel fairly confident we can find one Pokemon off of a Cynthia, as we do find a Jirachi with an escape board, so then uh, we are pretty safe, I think, to fire off that Clear Vision GX. So yeah, very, very good turn for us. Uh, we can retreat the Latios out to the Jirachi if we want to, and then start charging the Latios up, but without my opponent being able to GX attack, I am feeling quite strong about our situation. Um, and, you know, having the Copycat Mimikyu in this matchup is also super good for anything that could knock out Latios. Uh, but the way that we can kind of lock our opponent down in this game as well now is just spamming Tag Purge. Uh, Ultimate Mewtwo only has the Greninja GX as a way of an attack copier to be able to bust through. Um, and if they can't get a Weakness Guard energy down as well, then we do have the opportunity to just copy uh, certain attacks, say, with Mimikyu and get some big knockouts. So, yeah. If they don't get the weakness guard down and they bench it, we could try and set up our board in a way where we could take advantage of this. My dog is barking up a storm. But yeah, I'm feeling very strong about this. We got off the, um, we got off the, what do you call it? Uh, we got off the clear vision. So I feel like this matchup is now incredibly winnable. We see it in DDV, not a big deal at all. What I'm waiting to see kind of is a Mewtwo. If I don't see a Mewtwo, I'm not super concerned. I mean, like, if they get the Mewtwo out though, the thing they want to do this turn probably is grab Mewtwo plus Guzma and Hala to guarantee they get the um, Weakness Guard energy, but I do feel like we can just take advantage of the situation. They can't GX attack us, so they can attach one for turn, and that's about it. So I don't know, I'm feeling really pretty good about this. Um, I'm not sure what they had in hand before, but judging on how they've used... Uh, they discarded... They've used a Quick Ball, right? So unless they top-decked that Quick Ball... 
I'm not really sure. We see a big charm go down on the Mewtwo. Not a big deal. We do see a switch into the Mewtwo. Do we see anything else? I'm not sure what they're uh, attempting to do here. Are they attempting to attach a weakness guard energy? Are they attempting to... Like, I don't know what's going on here. They attach an air balloon to the Reshizard. Sure. Um, we see a swell. Not really a big deal for us. Uh, yeah, I'm not really seeing the threat. We see a rainbow attached. Okay. Indeed, he can heal off that damage from the rainbow. Um, okay. They got the Soul Blast. So I don't know if they're attempting to Soul Burst here. They don't realize what Clear Vision GX does, but we'll see. They do go for the Watch Over to heal the Mewtwo. They have no attack, I believe, that they can declare at this stage. So they may just choose to pass, and that's really good for us if they choose to pass. So we have the Switch, which is incredibly good for us right now. Um, ideally, we just need to hit a Malamar. We just need to hit a Supporter off this Stellar Wish from Jirachi, I think. That is the ideal uh, card hit. So we are going to get Jirachi. If we can get off a um, Tag Purge this turn, I think we'll win the game. That is how confident I'm feeling. So we are going to go for the Stellar Wish. Oof. Okay, we get a Treasure. So we definitely get the... Um, we get a Malamar down, but we don't get... Uh... We don't get the knockout. Well, so we don't get the tag purge off, right? So what I could do is bring up the Indeedy and lock them there for a little bit. That doesn't seem very good, though. I think I take the treasure for sure. And then we treasure away the escape board to get ourselves a Malamar. Um, yeah. Definitely getting a Malamar. And uh, I guess what we'll do here is maybe throw up... Uh, what are we gonna, we're gonna throw up as a sacrificial lamb here. I could bring up the Mimikyu and then Filch. I think we just want to attach an energy here to Latios. Um, just doing math in my head right now, sorting out whether we can get a knockout next turn or not. Potentially. I think what I want to do is not play anything else from hand. I'm just thinking about what I want to bring up here, guys, uh, out of anything. So, my opponent, go rid of two research, yeah, um, I don't know, I'm not sure what I should be afraid of, I don't want to lose Jirachi in this situation, so I think I'm going to bring up the, the, the no, nah, I think, I think the Mimikyu, Mimikyu's the play, I'm going to bring up Mimikyu, uh, we're going to give it a spell tag. So what I was checking for was to see if my opponents played a Great Catcher. They haven't. Um, I believe the deck plays one Great Catcher and then one Venus Snivy. So the fear I have this turn is them being able to Great Catcher and knock out my Latios. Uh, that would suck. As we do see the Weakness Guy coming out. So I really did miss my opportunity there. Super unfortunate that I did whiff that, given that I had so many supporters still in deck. Um, but it is what it is. Like I said, Tag Purge is still incredibly strong. And also, they don't have Greninja in the discard yet. So... Uh, that is also a very strong point that we can get. Uh, any damage on this Mewtwo as well? We need how much? We need 60 damage on this Mewtwo for Calamitous Slash to knock it out. And because he can't use any other attacks to charge anything else up, that is a very viable strategy for us in this game. We also kind of want Mimikyu to die. So we do see the Greninja Discarder. So he is he has got the Mist Slash at his disposal. Not too concerned about that. If he's forced to Mist Slash, we can definitely work with that. Because um, that does set up the uh, Teeny Chomp for knockout. So next turn... I'm hoping Mimikyu gets knocked out this turn, and heading into next turn, um, the ideal thing would be uh, would be getting an NK down if we can. So drawing into uh, a research or a, um, a research, or technically a Cynthia would be best, right? Because we don't want to lose the uh, Tina Chomp. So we are going to take this damage, and I believe we are just going to put all the damage on Mewtwo, right? Because they've got no, they got one Malolana to heal, but they don't have a way of actually switching out of the active super easily. So they're going to take their one prize. We're obviously going to bring up the Jirachi here. So we definitely have Psychic Recharge onto Latios to attack. We see a Giratina, which isn't too bad. Uh, we are just going to recharge first and foremost. We have the Tag Purge to go for this turn. Uh, Tina in the discard would be nice, but I am just going to see if I can hit a Supporter. We hit Research. That's not really that ideal. I would have loved to have held on to this uh, Tina Chomp. I technically can by benching it. It is a little bit risky to bench it because it obviously is a target for attack. But they have got rid of their Xerneas, so I'm not super afraid. So I think I want to bench this and then go for the research right now. 
Um, because ideally I want to find an NK if I can. I do find the NK and I do find a way of getting to Malamar next turn, which is phenomenal. Um, I have not lost a fighting energy yet either, so the chances of us being able to go for Tag Poach here into Calamitous slash for Knockout next turn seem very strong, which I'm very happy about. So I am going to retreat back into the Latios here, um, and we are just going to declare a Tag Poach. So, um, get that chip on the Mewtwo. We do still have, I think, one energy in the discard right now. So we can go for another Tag Poach again next turn if we need to. And then we can start setting up our Tina Chomp. So I assume what my opponent's going to do here is like bench. And then um, they're going to attach like a weakness guard to the other Mewtwo. So my assumption is they should go for Tag Call and grab a Mewtwo and Guzma and Hala. And then use Guzma and Hala to get them a weakness guard energy. So they have both their Mewtwo set up with weakness guards. Uh, since they're adding Guzma and Hala like that, I have to assume there's a Mewtwo already in their hand. So they do heal the Mewtwo to the point where um, I can't knock it out through spell tag next turn because indeed he will just heal we see a quick ball discarding a mewtwo though so i'm very curious as to what else my opponent is planning to set up in this game they can't just sit with this one mewtwo in the active that isn't going to fly they choose to charge up rechizard not too sure about that play by my opponent i don't think rechizard is a great attacker to be setting up in this matchup but hey each to their own i'm not gonna not gonna judge them for it it does make our prize mapping a little bit easier if it is the Reshizard, so it's cool by me. Um, Mewtwo can attack here with Mist Slash, obviously not going to get the knockout, and then we can go for a Tag Purge next turn, so that's very strong. Uh, we don't... I was hoping there we actually top-decked a, um, a, a Psychic Energy, but we didn't. So we're going to treasure away the Quick Ball here to guarantee us a Malamar. So we have the extra Psychic Recharge if needed, and then we're going to throw a Cynthia out here, just because if we hit a Psychic Energy and a Discard, that's pretty good, as we do hit just that. We do also have a Switch. We could go into Jirachi if we wanted to here. Um, this is actually an interesting turn. We can actually just get Knockout on Mewtwo, I believe, with the Tina Chomp this turn. Uh, if, if I'm correct, we can just go for a Mysterious Treasure to discard the Psychic Energy, and we will just grab the Esper, I think, is fine in this situation because uh, we do, and I believe, have double Psychic in the discard. We do, so that means that um, we can charge up this Tina Chomp, and we can just get a knockout straight away, which is phenomenal. They don't have their Reshizard set up, so this puts us in an immensely powerful position. We just attach for turn, and then we can uh, simply just retreat out to the Tina Chomp and uh, Calamitous Slash for the knockout. So that is fantastic for us. Easy three prizes. They don't have a way to quickly respond to this at all. And uh, I just feel like we're in a very commanding position now. They can bring up the Reshizard. They can declare Outrage for 30 damage. But then we can retreat out of the Tina Chomp into Latios to just chip them again. And that should just seal up the game at that stage. So I think that we uh, pretty much got the match in the bag now. I don't see a way that my opponent can bring this back as we do see the concession. So yeah, very, very powerful uh, if we're able to get that Cleavision off. We did whiff that one turn of big damage, which would have made the matchup a bit easier. But at the same time, <clears throat> it looks like my opponent wasn't really able to get much going. So we were able to take complete advantage there. So the deck doing exactly what I expected it to do, to lock down one of the most powerful decks in the format right now. Um, I think that matchup is really hard for uh, Malamar to lose if you can get off the clear vision. I think that if you can get it off, you should just win the game. I'd be very surprised if you didn't win the game. So, yeah. Pretty good start. Pretty good start. I'm pretty happy with um, how this is all going. We're going to see how the next game goes. going to roll straight into it. We see uh, what looks like Obstagoon. Now, Obstagoon is probably one of our worst matchups on paper. Um, it is a very, very difficult matchup for my deck to win. However, it can be done. So we're going to see how well my opponent... It really just depends on how well they open. Um, and we'll go from there. Oh, it's Heracross. Uh, it could still be Obstagoon, though, with a Heracross. I'm not... Not ruling it out. I'm actually not sure what I'm playing against here. Big Charm makes me think it's not Obstagoon, which, if that's the case, is very good. 
Uh, we see a great ball for a Rillaboom. Okay, Rillaboom box. Sure. So Rillaboom box, as far as I know, the basic plan is just getting down in case and then using Giratina. Since it's effectively a one prize matchup, we should be able to win it due to the fact that we have spell tags. So we're going to see a quick ball here, probably grabbing a Grookey, I would assume. Yep. So this feels uh, pretty strong for us, honestly. We can just get two Inkays down with the cards in our hand. Uh, we don't probably need the Mimikyu or the Giratina and Garchomp in this matchup, especially the Giratina and Garchomp. I can't imagine any reason why we would need that for this matchup. It just seems like Spell Tag Mally should be able to get the job done. Uh, we do see a pass from our opponent, so no energy attached for turn is interesting. We do see a Research here, which is very, very strong for us. We do lose a Malamar if we do it, though, but I think it's worth the risk. Um, I think we uh, just treasure away um, Mimikyu. I don't think we'll need Mimikyu in this matchup. Uh, we're just going to get down double in K here. We do still have three Malamar in the deck. So I think this is a fine risk to take. Now, I could grab another in K here. Or I could choose to grab a decent target for Spell Tag. Um, something like Giratina. I don't mind that since we can probably find the rest of our in Ks. So I'm going to go with the Giratina here. Just so I have a target for the spell tag, and then we'll fire off a research. As we do find another ink, and we find another spell tag. So this is a pretty strong turn for us. I don't think we're going to need the Mew. I'm going to hold on to one Mimikyu, just in case there's a big attacker that my opponent's deck might have. Uh, but we can just grab another ink here pretty easily, and then throw off a Stellar Wish. Um, and honestly, a research seems pretty good here. Next turn, we can go even further into our deck trying to fish out things um i don't mind attaching the fighting energy this turn just so it gives us a good chance of attacking it next turn um no need to put any spell tags anywhere do i feel like heracross is going to knock me out with powerful friends no i don't um if you have any stage two pokemon on your bench the attack does no more damage there is a chance that he could so i could play it safe this turn and switch into the spell tag giratina just in case shit's about to go down because i can then bring it back and go from there so i don't mind bringing up Giratina here just to be safe and then passing because if I have to I can just attach uh, the next couple of turns to Giratina and I feel fine with that. I think this just covers if my opponent is going to go with the powerful friends because he could just have rare candy and then go with the Rillaboom play and uh, then I just lose Jirachi for no reason which seems kind of silly so I don't really want to do that. I have a feeling my opponent might be playing Venusaur Snivy but I'm not too sure. Like I said, I feel like with the spell tags, I should have a relatively strong matchup here, but we're going to see. We are going to see a Stellar Wish fire off here from my opponent. Uh, having two Inkays down is really strong at this stage of the game. We do see a switch, so they could get an attack off here if they have the rare candy to get them into Rillaboom. We do see a Bill's Analysis, so this could be a way they find their rare candies, um, and that could make it interesting. We do see a rare candy, so we are going to see a Rillaboom come down this turn, for sure. Um, so I think their play should be to get yeah, Rare Candy first, thin the deck of those energies, and then go for the Acrobike. <laughs> Makes a lot of sense. Voltage Beat going to go into one of those Heracrosses. We know that our opponent added a switch as well, so um, they can definitely attack with this Heracross, especially since they have an Escape Board now too. We see an Acrobike come down. What is my opponent choosing to take here from the Acrobike? I'm more interested about what they discard uh, at this stage. They choose to discard a Rillaboom, so it must have been a pretty tough choice for them to have to just got a little bit, but we do see the Heracross come into the active, and we do see Powerful Friends come out, but it will not be enough to get a knockout, which is really good for us, uh, buying us an extra turn to kind of continue to get set up. So we are going to lose our other energy, which kind of sucks, but I am just going to attach a spell tag to... Uh, I could... Now. Now. I could attach it to the Mimikyu, because there's a chance I could just copycat and knock out this Heracross right now. I don't mind that play. We're going to attach there. We're going to attach here for turn. Because the idea is that if I can hit an energy discard and a switch, then we're, we're just chilling. Uh, we just whiffed the switch out of all those things that we needed there. That's fine, though. That's fine. So we can afford to discard this and grab ourselves another Inkay. I think 3 NK on board is what we want. And we can Psychic Recharge onto this Mimikyu. I think the only thing, uh, I think I benched this Inkay last turn, so we can go and discard this energy, grab ourselves another Malamar down, seems pretty good. Uh, we are not going to use Psychic Recharge on anything though. 
Because I think we just bring up Jirachi next turn, and honestly, I feel I feel fine. I feel like this is a really good position for us to be in. Um, yeah, we're going to see Voltage B come out from the Rillaboom again to charge up another attacker. So my opponent's going to go ahead in the prize trade to begin with, but it, it probably won't last. Given that my Mimikyu can actually copy the Powerful Friends, since I control Stage 2 Pokemon as well. Oh. Stage 2. Oh. Well, no, uh, I think... Oh, no, yeah, this is, this is bad. I charged up Mimikyu for no reason. That was silly. <laughs> um, okay, so Giratina gets a free knockout on this. I'm going to put the... Let's see, what does Delmize do? Uh, heal the same amount of damage you do to your opponent's Pokemon. Okay, that's terrible. Let's put all the damage here on... Actually, I'm going to put... There's no way to reverse that. That's so annoying. I'm going to put all four on Rillaboom, because that does put it in range of Giratina later on. Definitely a mistake on my end. Uh, I am going to bring the Jirachi active, for sure. Um, I think that's fine. We do see a Latios here. None of these are super important. I think first and foremost, we are going to go with that Distortion Door. Bring back the Giratina. We're going to put 10 on the Jirachi. And how much health does the Delmize have? 130. Good grief. I think we're just going to keep on chipping away at that Rillaboom. It is the most important card on my opponent's bench, for sure. Uh, we should be able to net a knockout here with Giratina. Uh, if we play this smart enough, I do need more energy in my discard, though, which is why I'm a bit annoyed that I attached to this goddamn Mimikyu. So I think I will just Cynthia this hand. I don't want to research away anything there. Um, hmm. This is an ideal. Have I already discarded a Viridian in this game? I have not. So we can bump for sure. That's not an issue. Uh, we can't use Copycat to get a knockout, though, which is the thing that I'm a little bit concerned about. Uh, so we're going to Stellar Wish and Hope. I don't really know what I'm hoping to hit here. I guess the escape board is what I'm happy to take. So we take the escape board, we are going to attach the escape board, and we are going to recharge that one energy onto Tina. This is definitely not ideal, because I forgot that we're not going to get the extra damage from powerful friends. We're just going to chip it for a little bit, and it's going to be terrible. But any chip is good chip, especially since we have Blocephalon in the deck. So we are just going to choose to copycat. We won't get the max damage off, but that's fine. We don't need to. The whole goal of the um, game, I think, is going to be trying to set everything else up for knockout. So this next turn, we should be able to uh, knock out the Jirachi and go from there. This is definitely a very slow start for us, though. Um, mainly down to me doing a bit of misplaying. Next turn, as long as we can get to an energy, we will get our first knockout and put ourselves back in a good position. Uh, in terms of what I'd like to damage here, I think I want... Um, how do I want to play this? I think I want all four on the Jirachi this time, right? Because we're going to bring back the Giratina later on, and this is fine. So they're up two prizes. Not a big deal. We are pretty much primed for Blacephalon turn coming up, especially since we just found our third Malamar. So that is fantastic. Um, we are going to use one of those Malamars to get an energy back onto our Giratina. Uh, we should still have some discards in the deck, so I do feel like Cynthia here is the play. We don't want to research that hand away. Uh, we do not hit a discard. We do hit the energy attachment for turn though, which is the most important thing. So we have the continual flow, and we have the spell tag. So now we can Stellar Wish, and we can find a Viridian, which is also very good. Is it better? Yeah, no, Viridian is fine here. We definitely do want it. We want to try and keep thinning this deck as much as possible. Uh, get all the Psychic Energies out of there, because I don't think my opponent's going to gus up any Malamars. So I feel pretty safe in this situation. We have no tags on anything else. So I think that what we can just do here is go into the Giratina and uh, we can just get the first knockout of the game for us. On this Pokemon now, uh, the options that my opponent has to reverse knockout, there is Powerful Spin from Delmize that will get the straight knockout. Heracross could just attack with Powerful Friends. I think I actually want to force something like the Delmize up here. I don't really mind it because then it uses Powerful Spin, but then it can't attack again. If Rillaboom comes up, that's also great. So I'm actually going to choose to put the damage on my Malamar because it means that Heracross can't knock me out, which is super important in this matchup. We are going to get another Psychic Energy off the prizes. Um, ideally, heading into next turn, what we want is our Blacephalon because what we're going to do is probably put all the damage from uh, the knockout they're about to get onto the Rillaboom and then use our Blacephalon to get knockout. We are going to see a... Ooh, that is a little bit annoying, but we can still knock out the Rillaboom next turn if we needed to. But, like, does Rillaboom become the target now is the question. We're playing against another one-prize deck. I think that we 
try and play this a little bit smarter. Um, and so, if we're going to play it smarter, we know that Jirachi is effectively dead um, heading into our next turn. So then I can start targeting down something like the Heracross or the Delmize in terms of Knockout instead, which I'm kind of I'm kind of cool with. I'm kind of cool with that. I think that we can catch up on the prize trade pretty quickly on this next turn, um, and then put ourselves in a pretty strong position for the game. We do see an Absol come down, but we do have the energy in hand that we can attach quite easily, so that shouldn't be an issue. And this is now another target for us, 100%, I think, in this matchup. Um, Absol, out of all the things on his bench, is a very easy thing for us to knock out on this next turn. We can put all the damage onto Absol if we want to, and I feel pretty good about that. Um, so yeah, this this feels fine. I don't know. I, I think it could still be kind of close. We're going to see. We see a Great Ball come out. I mean, they only have one Rillaboom in place. I'm not super concerned. I have the Giratina that can just keep recurring. I think I've used... This is my third spell tag. So if I can find the fourth spell tag with Blacephalon, then I feel like we have enough on board to probably win because he's going to knock me out here, go down to three, but then I'm going to go down to three, and then it's going to be essentially a Slugfest. I think because we were just... We whiffed... Okay, if... um. If I could have got that knockout on the Heracross instead of going with the attack from Mimikyu, I think we would have won the game. Um, because we just missed a prize that turn. If we had the prize that turn, I think we probably had game. But unfortunately, that ain't going to be the case. And it looks like they're going to go with the Delmize here for the knockout, which, you know, it is fair enough. We do see another Jirachi come down, so that could be another target for us to knock out. And the plus side of Jirachi coming down, honestly, is that my opponent's giving me um, easier access to quick prizes which I'm a huge fan of, in this matchup especially. So, we are going to see the Delmize come out. We are going to see them probably go for the powerful spin uh, for the knockout. I'm kind of cool with this, honestly. That that escape board will not matter on that Jirachi because that is probably going to be the target of my knockout next turn. So, we are going to put all four damage counters onto that Jirachi for sure. Um, I think we are really close to being able to get a knockout on everything that we want in this matchup. We are going to bring this Jirachi up. So realistically, all we need is the Blacephalon um, to be able to finish this off. So I think we just want to attach for turn. Um, we know the Blacephalon's in deck. There are 14 cards left. So I'm just trying to think of like mathematically where I'm going with this. Blacephalon's coming back, and so is Giratina. Um, Giratina's Distortion Door can chip both of these Jirachis. So I just need uh, one there and two there to knock out. So I am just one damage short of being able to get all the knockouts I want this turn. That's fine by me. I think what I want to do here is just Professor's Research. Like I said, the aim of this turn is getting to that Blacephalon, which I have successfully done because I did find a Quick Ball. That will allow me to get to my Blacephalon this turn, which is phenomenal. Um, we are going to be able to go with the double Psychic Recharge onto Blacephalon, and like I said, then bring Giratina back to get another knockout. So we're taking two knockouts this turn, and then with Spell Tag, we would guarantee our last knockout. We just have to hope that Spell Tag is um, left in the deck. We can check by discarding this Latios to see if the last Spell Tag is in deck. It is in the prizes, so unfortunately we can't get to it this turn, but we can Giratina next turn to knock out the Absol, and then we might be able to push full game after that. So we are going to Stellar Wish still. I think it is worth going for it. Um, I will just grab the Quick Ball in case I ever want to grab anything out of the deck. Don't think it's going to be happening. Uh, so what we'll do this turn is bring back one of our Giratinas with the Distortion Door, and we will target down both of my opponent's Jirachis here. Make it very difficult for them to try and uh, get a big response. And we are going to see another Psychic Recharge come out here. We have two switches in hand, so I'm feeling pretty confident heading into this next turn, and uh, all I want to do this turn is retreat into the Blacephalon, and uh, we are going to declare that Fireworks Bomb, so two here for Knockout, one there for Knockout, and then that leaves uh, nine that we could put onto that Absol, so that one Distortion Door will knock that out um, heading into next turn. So boom, 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 two Knockouts, and then Absol basically one damage away from knockout. We are going to grab an Inkay. I'm hoping that we can get... Yes, there it is, the spell tag. Fantastic. Okay, I think we have a good chance now because we'll Distortion Door, knock out Absol, bring up Giratina and knock something out, and then I think we might just have the game. I think we somehow got there, guys. I don't even know how, but I think we somehow got there. 
because it can bring back the second Giratina to knock out the Absolids on the bench. Um, they'll have to retreat the Delmite, so they do have the switch though to do that. They can knock us out with Heracross, but um, we will actually take the prize lead heading into next turn, and that probably will steal us the game. We've only just got there though. That was way closer than it probably needed to be. But we can uh, just go for the recharges onto this Giratina with our Malamar. And we can start setting up the second Giratina too. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to Distortion Door this other Giratina up right now. We're going to put damage on the Absol. And then uh, we're going to put damage onto the Rillaboom. Basically, I just want to secure that everything is going to get knocked out by my Giratina heading into next turn. So Absol dies. We take an extra prize. Fantastic. We get the spell tag on this Giratina. We Psychic Recharge onto the other Giratina to set it up good to go. I don't think there's a reason to Stellar Wish. We are just going to switch into this Giratina. And we are just going to fire off that Shadow Impact. And as far as I'm concerned, that should just wrap the game up for us. Um, I'm just going to put damage on another Malamar, forcing him to use Delmize for the knockout. And uh, as far as I know, there's not much my opponent can do. If they bring Rillaboom active, to attack with it, I just put the damage on the Giratina and the other Giratina then gets the knockout for game. We see a Grookey bench. I just don't think that's going to matter for my opponent. We are um, only one prize away from winning this game and Grookey is also just a pretty spicy target. I think we have the Mew and the Discard though, so we wouldn't be able to knock it out uh, through those shenanigans. Um, oh, how about you? We could. Um, even if they brought the Rillaboom active, I could have another option. If they heal the Rillaboom, it doesn't even matter, because the spell tag damage into another Giratina will wrap the game up. If they have a big charm, though, then what I could do is put the 4 damage onto his Grookey and go from there. We see a Feromosa come out. Not really sure what the Feromosa is here to do. Um, I don't know. Okay, it has White Ray, so if you only have one prize card remaining, it does extra damage, sure. But you're not living to see another turn, because, yeah... I don't know. Not sure what my opponent's going to do, but I do have the Quick Ball and the Mysterious Treasure in hand, so if I wanted to, I could get the Esper out. We are going to see a research from my opponent. Not really sure what they're digging for here. Um, I only have one more prize left to take and have two Giratinas in play, and Giratina currently knocks out everything on my opponent's board. Unless they were just happening to run Venusaur and Snivy for a Gust effect. Um, even if they did right now, I just don't think it'd be enough. Um... I have too much in place, and like I said, even if the Venusaur and Snivy did come up, I could potentially just knock out the Grookey with the Esper. So, we see an Ordinary Rod to put some stuff back in. We do see the Absol go back in. Not super impactful for my opponent to do that. Um, they could try and search it out right now, get it back on the bench. We do see a Voltage Beat going down here onto the uh, Rillaboom. So Rillaboom can knock me out, but then I can just put all the Spell Tag damage onto Rillaboom so that my Giratina knocks it out. So we are going to see a hammer in for knockout, but I can just put all the damage onto this Rillaboom. And that will just guarantee that my uh, Giratina gets a knockout. So, pretty cool game. Pretty interesting game. Like I said, the, wise pri uh, the one prize matchups can be a bit big brain. But uh, this one was, I think, relatively straightforward. We just double psychic recharge. And there's a concession from our opponents. We do wrap that one up. Um, interesting deck for my opponent for sure. I think we just whiffed that one turn with the um, with the Mimikyu where I should have just never attached an energy to it or Psychic Recharge to it. I should have Psychic Recharge to um, a Giratina if I could have. I was also worried about the Powerful Friends which did come out but it didn't knock out my Giratina so I was kind of safe on that turn. It was maybe a waste of a spell tag though because I believe my opponent Hyper Potioned. But like that's a, that's a game two and three. Oh, game, normal just game, I think I would win both those games. Oh, we're up against our friend again, <laughs> alright. So we are playing against uh, Ultimate Mewtwo again for the second time. And we lose the coin flip, so I think he's going to go second here and force us to go first. No, wow, okay, he... Hmm. That is a very ambitious play by my opponent. Uh, we do have an okay hand here to work with. Uh, do we have everything we need immediately? No, I think we're one Pokemon short. <laughs> I think we're just one Pokemon short from being able to do the Latios play. <clears throat> Ideally, I think as well, what I will focus on, that's all they can do. So we're going to draw into our turn. We do have a Giratina though. Ooh, okay. So I think we can just get off the Latios play and then just, that's fine. I think though I want to Dede change this hand away. 
So I just want to bench the important things and then dead a change. So I think uh, Giratina is important. I'm going to lose a Malamite here, which kind of sucks, but I think... So here's the thing, right? I can I can go for the clear vision play, but after that, I actually don't have a lot of responsing, so I kind of want a better hand here. So I'm going to get rid of the Malamar, and I'm going to grab the Dedene if it is in deck, thank God. And I think what I want to do is um, bench the Mimikyu. It sucks ditching both of these things that I have in my hand right now, but I do think if I can hit a supporter, it's just better. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to choose to do this. I think this is worth the risk. As, yeah, we draw into some pretty good things here. Um, we can bench the Jirachi. No. I think we bench the Inkei. We're going to have to profess this research and lose another Malamar, right? There's already one Malamar in the bin, so I think benching Jirachi is better. We can find another Inkei if we have to. We can bench Jirachi. We can quick ball away the Inkei to find the Latios. And then um, I can research. It sucks losing two Malamars, but I think only we only need two to win this game. As we do hit the switch and the energy, so let's go. We got everything we needed that turn. Bada bing. And then we can go for that Clear Vision GX. Awesome. So we lost two Malamars in the process, though, which kind of sucks. But like I said, Tina Chomp is just ridiculous in this matchup. So I think we'll be okay. I think uh, it'll be fine. The important thing was getting off the Clear Vision. Uh, next turn, even if Latios gets knocked out, we do have the treasure to guarantee us one Malamar in play, which we can use to start charging things up. They are going to tag all here. If they can't discard Vileplume, I feel pretty confident heading into this next turn. Um, without a big charm as well, if I can find a spell tag onto the Latios, they can knock me out. Um, and then the damage chip would put them in range of Giratina Garchomp. So, we'll see. That'll require getting another Pokemon down, though. I kind of am annoyed that we had to bench what we benched. Um, I also just kind of regret having to discard that Inkei. If I had chosen to let the Mimikyu or the Bucephala, uh, sorry, the Giratina get discarded, that would have been much better for us to get that Inkei down. So definitely maybe the sequencing was wrong, but it, you have to understand it's a it's a massive risk to try and take uh, the way that we were committing. So yeah, I think I had I was justified in benching those Pokemon. So far though, this looks okay. My opponent can't GX, and they currently have no attack of note that they can actually declare on me. We do see a Cherish Ball. They maybe can do one now. Um, we're going to see. They're going to probably grab the Vile Plume here. So if they have a way to discard the Vile Plume, then we will lose Latios this turn. But in saying that, I think we might be okay if that happens. Because we can use Mimikyu's Copycat to copy... Um, yeah. Now, we do need the Fighting Energy in the deck for the Giratina and Garchomp for sure. That is going to be an incredibly pivotal card in this matchup. Because they can't actually declare... Uh, powerful Bloom this turn, or Massive Bloom, then I feel really strong. Um, we haven't seen a supporter, I think, from our opponent yet, unless they use the Cynthia and Caitlyn to draw cards. Um, I don't think they did. So if they have a way in their hand of discarding that Vile Bloom, there it is, they have a way, but they discard the Rat instead. Interesting. So do they have another way of discarding? They grab a second to Dene, um, and they chuck away. Then that doesn't get knockout. Interesting choice by my opponent. I don't really think that was the play, but you know what? We're going to roll with it. Um, I am going to treasure away the Cynthia here so I can grab my last last Malamar. Okay, this matchup became very interesting. Last Malamar, huh? Okay. Um, ideally, I want to probably retreat out to Jirachi, and yeah, I want to do that because if I can get off the Tag Purge, it's very good here because there's no Greninja so far in their discard. So I think I want to uh, retreat out to Jirachi okay. here. Um, and then we are going to Cynthia this hand back in. We don't see an energy. That is horribly detrimental. No, it's not. We have Raycha. What we didn't find is a switch either. But we're going to discard a Cynthia again. There's our energy. And then we have one in the discard because I can see that Malamar has the recharge ability showing up. So the thing we just need to find is um the only thing we need to find right now i don't want to grab anything we want to grab tina chomp right so there's only two switch left in deck wow okay that's a little bit scary of a 23 card deck have i discarded two switches i have okay so if we can hit the switch off the stellar machine we're in a good spot if not we could be in a bit of trouble 
Okay, we hit the switch. We're good. We're good. We're good. Cool. Whew. We get out of it. So we get out of jail there a little bit. We are able to switch the Latios into the active, and we are able to fire off a tag purge onto this Mewtwo and Mew. Now we know they have a Dedenne in hand, but we don't know if they have access to the Greninja. If they don't have access to Greninja, they can't actually get a knockout on us um, at all. So if the Greninja is prized, then being able to tag purge here could just seal us the game, potentially. So we are going to see a tag call. They're probably just going to find some tag team Pokemon here as means of discard. We know there's a Dedenne in their hands. So I'm surprised they added those two. They could Mallow Lana here to heal. Uh, if they have Greninja in hand, this could be very, very unfortunate for us. Uh, they didn't. They discarded a switch, though, which is very surprising. Um, we see an air balloon on the Dene, and we see a Dede change. Okay, but they don't have a lot of ways left of discarding. They only have Quick Balls, I believe, left that they could use to discard a Greninja from hand. Uh, we do see a Zigzagoon come down. Oh, the Ziggy's going to get the knockout. That's dirty. All right, so that's kind of bad for us. Um, they just get two free prizes. Actually, they're going to get three free prizes. Because now they can just copy Massive Bloom. So I have to bring up Giratina. I think we're going to lose this one. Uh, just because I don't think I have enough attackers. <laughs> and they're able to heal. Ah, oh, dude. Like, discarding all those Malamars is so bad. But I have to get off that clear vision or else I lose the game. So, okay. We still have a chance because they... Um, we do still have a chance because we always have Giratina Garchomp, right? So I can start charging that up uh, right now. And then we can go from there. That's going to be the play. Is bringing Jirachi up after Giratina gets knocked out. Start charging up Giratina Garchomp and go from there. We do see the Greninja. Uh, Gren doesn't matter right now because they can just copy Massive Bloom. But they are just going to discard the Gren with Viridian. So yeah. Oh, they always had Viridian. So I guess I gave them that way of easily accessing their Greninja. This might seem bad, but I think we're actually still in a fine spot, surprisingly. Uh, we do see the unit energy attached. So Giratina gets knocked down. They're down to three prizes remaining. So it could be bad because if they have the Great Catcher, they could just win by knocking out to Dene. <clears throat> but uh, we do see the Giratina and Garchomp. We are going to attach to it. Now we know that there are two Malamar. There's a one Malamar prize. So I can get rid of an Inkay here. And uh, we can grab the Psychic Energy to hand. Um, just to kind of thin the deck out. But uh, ideally, what I want to do here is recharge onto Giratina and Garchomp. Now, what we want to do this turn, if we can, is we want to find an escape board and a spell tag and bring the Mimikyu into active. That seems like the, the best play. Um, I think eventually I'll want the Inkay benched. Eventually I'll want this on the board. So I'm going to Cynthia. So no spell tags. There's 15 cards left in deck, and I have not seen a single spell tag. Um, so I'm going to treasure away Jirachi here, and just see how many spell tags are in deck. Only two, so we have a Malamar and spell tags prize. This has just been a pretty rough game. Uh, it does happen, though. We're no, we're no strangers to rough games. We are going to go for a second treasure here, just to thin the deck out as much as possible, to guarantee the chance of us hitting into... Well, now we're kind of screwed, because we cannot hit into switch plus spell tag. Um, we're going to have to have to take the escape board here. Uh, I think we just lose the game. Um, because we have no way... We needed a spell tag and a switch that turn so that they would get damaged by the spell tag into knockout from Giratina Garchomp. So we're going to have to concede, guys, because there's nothing I can go into here. We escape board. I could go into uh, Giratina Garchomp to potentially tank a hit, but they just go for massive bloom, and then I'm in, like, a world of trouble. And unless they've discarded their Great Catcher, um, they still probably have it in deck. So if I bring up the Mimikyu, Mimikyu gets knocked out. I go into... Uh, okay, no, no, we have a chance. We have a chance. I just thought about this, right? So what I have to do is I have to... Have they discarded Malolana? They have. They used it. Okay, cool. So here's what we do. We put the Escape Board onto Jirachi. We retreat and we go out to Giratina Garchomp. And we Linear Attack onto the Mewtwo. So what we do here is they can Massive Bloom us on the next turn, but then we can knock them out with Calamitous Slash. Now, the thing that'll kill this is if they put down a Big Charm. Either a Big Charm or Finding Indeedy will ruin us. However, they've been through two of their Quick Balls already, so I'm hoping that they don't have a way of finding the Indeedy. If we can use this Giratina Garchomp to get this knockout on the Mewtwo and Mew, then I think we can win the game, but it seems incredibly unlikely given the position that we're in. Um, I just don't think 
we have a very good chance of making it happen. I have completely whiffed on the fact that they could just use Ziggy as well. So they grab a Solgaleo, it doesn't really matter. I think they're going to use some kind of supporter to thin their hand and just try and draw into the, um, what do you call it? They're going to find a way to draw into the, uh, oh wow. So they Dede change here. So they're going to try and find a way to draw into Big Charm. Big Charm is the thing that can save them right now if they do have it in deck. Um, they, I believe they've used their Guzma and Harlow as well. So that means that they had to have drawn into it from those six cards. If they didn't, then they're just declaring a Massive Bloom, and that's really good for us. Massive Bloom only doing 140. Now, the issue for us is that we don't have an energy in play. So I'm going to have to research myself down to an incredibly low hand to be able to get to an energy that I need to declare Kalamata slash for knockout. It's really risky, but we're going to have to do it. So we're going to have to... Professor's Research. Really don't like that I have to do that. But we do find our energy, and that's the most important thing. And we find a spell tag. So both of those things are incredibly good for us right now. We find the energy that we needed. There's nothing else we need to do. Uh, wait, do I want to charge anything up with Malamar? Okay, so next turn, what attack are they declaring? They're declaring Outrage into Flare Strike. Right? So they declare Outrage, and then they declare Flare Strike, and that's, that's their line of attacking. What do I do in response? Because the fear is, obviously, if they have a Great Catcher, I'm in a world of trouble. So, I also have Great Catcher at my disposal, but I don't think it changes anything. We'll, we'll see. I think for now, do I want to just put an energy on the Mimikyu is the question. I think it, it doesn't hurt to. I'm going to put one Psychic Energy on my Mimikyu. Let me just see how the game pans out. But for now, what I know is a Calamity Slash knocks out. So, that's great for us. And we get three prizes. So research is not great. Esper is very good. And Malamar is fantastic. Cool. So they're going to bring up the Dene. They can use Outrage into Flare Strike, which is the fear right now, okay? Outrage into Flare Strike is the fear, and the very terrifying thing is without that spell tag being able to put damage on that Reshizard, they could just gust me up at any time to finish the game off. So. Uh, what what is my other line of victory is the way I'm looking at things here. Hmm. I don't have a way of chipping his Reshi's art enough. Literally, all it needs is 20 more damage. Um, yeah. 20 more damage is all it needed. <clears throat> to be knocked out by my Giratina Garchomp. So that's, that's a little bit annoying. Because they can just Flare Strike. Now, the only thing that could maybe save me in this matchup, as stupid as it sounds, is if my opponent is low on energy. Now, they have uh, Indeedy coming down, which is a little bit scary. Um, I don't have a way of healing my Giratina Garchomp. We do see another Rainbow Energy come down, and the Indeedy is going to be able to heal the uh, Reshizard. So, I think we're kind of screwed here. We see a watch over. And we do see a research. So, okay, here's the thing, right? I think we actually do still have a chance of winning this game. It's just, like, extremely unlikely. Because they're going to outrage us for 30. Um, now, okay, we top deck the switches. That's exactly the thing I wanted. So the way that we could win this game is if my opponent doesn't have great catcher. Now, I know that's a very, very, like ridiculous thing to say but without great catcher here i can go spell tag onto mimikyu psychic recharge onto mimikyu outrage into this reshizard even if they heal with the indeedy watch over if they can't gust me they have to knock out my mimikyu with an attack and then if they do that then i have a chance to win the game now the risk with this is they could just draw pass so, is there a, like, other option that I have? Not really. Um, I'm kind of backed into a corner here. I think the play is Mimikyu, Copycat, and hope they take the bait. If they have Great Catcher, they'll win the game. That is, that is a pure and simple of it, guys. If they have Great Catcher, they have instantly won the game here. Um, not much I can do about it. I just, yeah... Discarding all those Malamars, really, yeah, there's the great catcher. So they're going to be able to get this win. 
Uh, I would assume they have an energy of some sort to be able to access. That's a bit frustrating way to end. Honestly, I think if I didn't have to discard two Malamars at the start of the game to get the clear vision off, um, I had this game won very, very easily. So that's like, I think, the only chance that this deck has to win. I also think not being able to get any spell tags, having two spell tags prize and a Malamar prize, really sucked because any spell tag damage earlier on that Mewtwo meant I didn't have to waste a linear attack turn, which means I could have brought up the Reshizard, done the 30 with Outrage, like, they could have been smart, though. Like, I think they could have been smart in that they could have let the 10 damage stay, done the Outrage for 40, and that would have put me in range of a Flare Strike on the next turn, and I couldn't have knocked them out because it never means to do it. So kind of a frust uh, pardon me, kind of a frustrating loss there, honestly. I feel that that was incredibly winnable with this list, but the opponent, you know... I mean, they played pretty well. The Zigzagoon onto, like, the Chuck Away was fine, I guess, as a knockout mechanism. Um, and then... Uh, the part that was just annoying was the two Malamars. If I had a second Malamar that I could have put down, I had a chance to put a second Malamar down, but I chose against it, so that's on me. Hopefully you enjoyed, though. I think this deck is awesome and just smashes most of the meta, so hopefully you guys give it a try. Thank you for watching. My name's Averd. Mountain Spin.